Hi, I'm Marianne Ka'ahanui, and welcome back to my studio at Dollmaker's Journey for today's episode of Tricks of the Trade. The most important hand sewing stitch that a cloth doll maker can master is called the ladder stitch. And if you learn to do this stitch well, your stitches will be almost invisible. We use it for two different things. We use it to close the openings in our body parts. And we also use it to attach body parts to each other. Why don't we start out with an arm? Sometimes the openings on our body parts are not going to be covered by clothing. So we want to make sure that the closure is as smooth and invisible as possible so that it doesn't detract from the overall look of the doll. You can see that I basted down the seam allowance around the opening so that it wouldn't get stretched out of shape when I stuffed the arm. I'm going to kind of press down on the uh, stuffing with my finger here. And I'm using a darker thread so that you can see what I'm doing. We're going to take a very small stitch in the fold on one side and go straight across and make a stitch in the fold on the opposite side. And now you can see why they call it the ladder stitch. And I'm just going to pull up gently on the thread and it's going to bring those sides together very, very smoothly. And then I'm just going to continue to work my way down. Here's an arm that I've already closed and you can see that the stitches are pretty invisible. Okay, now let's attach a leg to a torso. Normally, we close off the arms and legs first, but leave the torso open until the very end because you'll often find that you'll need to add more stuffing to it before you're finished with the doll. When attaching arms and legs, it doesn't really matter where you begin. Again, I'm going to use a darker thread so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take a small stitch in the torso, then come straight over and take a stitch in the leg. Back into the torso. Back into the leg. Now you're going to work around two or three times. The first time, you, the stitches can be further apart. You're basically going to hold the leg in place and then you can remove all your pins so that they're not in your way. Then you're going to work around two or three more times, making the stitches smaller and closer together until you feel the leg is really secure. I have already attached the leg on the other side, and you can see the result that I got. Heads are attached the same way, and here's another reason why you don't close the opening on the torso. I like to take my hemostats and stick them all the way up into the neck of the doll so that I can hold it firm while I'm sewing the head on. Heads are attached exactly the same way. We're going to take a little stitch in the neck. With the heads, I usually start at the center back of the head. Take a stitch in the head, back in the neck, and just keep working around two or three times until you feel your head is really, really secure. You can see that the ladder stitch is really easy to do, and with a little practice, you'll have it mastered in no time. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll look forward to seeing you the next time for Tricks of the Trade.